is the early hours of the morning, and nature's critters are waking. The quiet of the night has left us, and you're still asleep in your bed. The moon starts to sink behind the horizon as the sky starts to have this golden glow. When all of a sudden, you're awoken by your prize rooster's cock-a-doodle-doo. The rooster is nature's alarm clock, and the day has finally started. Mmm. Roosters crowing at daybreak is a common trope portrayed in pop culture. The rooster's crow and the sun rising have become synonymous with each other. However, it is important to note that roosters do in fact crow at all hours of the day. So where did this idea come from? Well, researchers Takashi Yoshimira and Suyoshi Shimura from Nagoya University in Japan want to know the answer to this question. In their studies, they found that crowing does not specifically come from visual stimuli like light from the sun, but rather an internal clock that alerts them of the new day. In their experiments, they took two groups of roosters and put them through two different light regimens. The group A roosters experienced 12 hours of regular light and 12 hours of dim light for 14 days straight, while group B experienced 24 hours of dim light for 14 days. The group A roosters were found crowing two hours before the lights were even turned on. This is called anticipatory pre-dawn crowing. But this did not surprise the scientists because this kind of behavior has been observed in the wild with other species of birds. Roosters aren't the only fowl that are vocally active in the morning. You may notice that in the wee hours of the morning, all types of birds are singing their songs. Scientists like to call this the dawn chorus, and it can start as early as 4 a.m. I don't want to be woken up that early. But again, why do birds sing more in the morning? Well, some theories lead us to believe that the birds think it's the best time to get it on. Hey. Their songs are a show of vitality and strength to their potential mates. Singing loud and proud in the morning shows all mates within hearing distance that you were strong enough to make it through the night. Going back to the Nagoya University study, the group B roosters, although being exposed to consecutive dim light, found themselves running on a 23.8 hour day. They would crow consistently when they thought it was dawn, leading to the idea that crowing comes from an internal clock. The scientists then wanted to see if external cues would cause roosters to crow. So they exposed the roosters seemingly at random with light and sound. And when they did this, they found that the roosters responded more in the mornings. This led the scientists to believe that the internal clock was more important than any external stimuli. An interesting side note is that roosters would only crow in order of their social status. With high-ranking roosters having priority to break the dawn, and lower-ranking roosters having to patiently wait their turn to crow. A lot of times how this ranking is determined is through a dance called a cockerel waltz. Roosters would strut their stuff with one wing pointed down, signifying to all the ladies who is the biggest and baddest cock. At the end of the day, we still don't fully understand why roosters seem to love to crow more in the morning, but we think it has something to do with claiming territory or showing how tough the rooster is. Maybe we can learn a thing or two from the roosters. Instead of using our fists to show how tough we are, maybe we can act in a way that Steven Sondheim would like us to singing and dancing for all the ladies to hear. Thank you for watching this episode of Knowledge Dump. Like and subscribe, and as always, we believe in you.